you've had an MSE. Mm -hmm. You've had a ton of expansion. Yeah, well, I'm not sure how much. I think probably as much as you, but it might have been a bit more asymmetrical. If you can tell by my face, my nose is a bit flared out here, and I, I do have a cant. I don't know if it's as bad as the other gentleman you had on there. He does have a lot of asymmetry, but he looks handsome as hell, I gotta say. Good looking chap. <laughs> hey, you're not too bad yourself, brother. Yeah, but, um, but like, but, uh, can we see? Let's, let's take a look at that smile. Show us what happened. Yeah, so your right that? side, just like, uh, just like Ryan, your right side is way out exactly in the field. Exactly like him. Yeah. But and I, can I, I see think the roof you of your mouth? Too. Can I see the roof? So massive, though. I mean, you've just got a massive maxilla. Here, let me at this show you point. a picture. I think. I think it'll do more justice of my expansion. Let's see if this works. This is me pre-expansion, pretty narrow maxilla. And let me show you my face pre-expansion as well. So narrow. You know, you can see the crow's feet very, very prominent. I don't know if the light can show it. Which but crow's feet? Very... What do you mean by that? Explain that to people. The under eye shadows mm -hmm. because I have very weak under eye support mm -hmm. um, and now it just kind of blew up you know mm -hmm. just like a huge change jeez <laughs> man yeah and I, I think the, the benefits do get maximized probably around four but if you do want extra tongue space I think that would probably help your sleep a little bit but it's not going to help your sleep unless you have room to mew because that extra tongue space is going to be wasted if you can't hold a suction and mew. You know, why does it matter if you have tongue space? I suppose it'll get it out of the roof of your mouth, but it's going to keep falling in if you don't have enough front-to-back space. Because you're not going to be able to hold that suction mew and breathe at the same time. So, yeah, I think uh, double jaw surgery and MSC are going to have to be really complimentary here. Mm -hmm. uh, and can we see, um, just before we dive into discussion i just want to get a little yeah. bit more raw data can we see the cant of yours so just close your lips like this yeah so it's a little bit it's not mm -hmm. it's not yeah. terrible with your lips closed and if you smile again yeah you so, so just like ryan it's that the lower side is the side that got super expanded yeah yeah so that seems to be a thing right like when the MSE blows out one side way more than the other, that side also goes lower. What I think happens is if you get into a Brody bite, perhaps the maxilla doesn't have support. It's not on the it's not connecting. If you don't have that contact, it's gonna sink down with gravity. That's what I think happened. Sort of like Stephen Hawking's face. Uh, you know his face because he did he had muscular dystrophy and his tongue didn't support his face and so if he had muscular dystrophy, he probably had an open mouth posture all the time, and his mid face probably just kept sinking down, like most people do in society because they don't they don't mew. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, great point, man. Yeah, so th the fact that the super expanded side just doesn't have anything supporting it from underneath because it's in what you said a Brody bite, which means that there's mm -hmm. zero contact between the upper and lower, and then just due to gravity, it'll just fall. That exactly. may be that may be a, a contributing thing to why the expanded because side think, goes lower. I mean, you had a Brody bite too, but I think you got into Invisalign quick and got your bite stabilized. I had a long time before I actually got Invisalign, so just don't. If you everyone, anyone listening, don't over expand. Four to six millimeters, like I would do, like sixty turns on it. I think sixty turns is good. Forty to sixty, probably fifty, probably fifty turns is my recommendation. Uh, because, yeah, the tongue space doesn't matter as much if you can't actually mew, which I still can't, you know? Mm -hmm. Anyways, I still think I look better, though, um, despite the asymmetry, and I would still get it again even if I had the asymmetry. But, of course, I think I look better mid-expansion. If you can see, before and after, I think people would recognize this. This is me mid-expansion. I look rather handsome there, you know? Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I, look, I still look pretty good there, but uh, the asymmetry does worsen my appearance, I would say. Uh, well, you look good, man. You look good. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is me. I look sort of like the village idiot here post my orthodontic treatment, right? As a child? Pretty gnarly. Well, this is me before MSC. Okay. Like, this is what they took before MSC. And this is me after. Like, I look, you know, a fair amount different. I don't know. Yeah, like you my face is different. You look super different, man. Yeah. No, you yeah. look, you look significantly crazy. better. I mean, 
bone structure is just it's it's crazy how that'll cha- change your appearance. 